This is Anne from Glamour For You. I'm going to show you how to do the basic broomstick lace stitch. Um, for broomstick lace stitch, you obviously you need yarn, your hook, and a broomstick. Back in the olden days, that's actually what the ladies used to use was a broomstick. Um, but in today's times, we can we have a lot of different choices. I like to use the jumbo um, knitting needles, the straight knitting needles. This one happens to be a US 50, 25 millimeter. Um, there's also US 35. Come on, focus. There you go. 19 millimeter and a US 19 15 millimeter. Um, you can use um, dowels. I have actually used a dowel and trimmed it and um, the only problem with dowels is you won't have your nice smoothness to slide your loops on so it can be done. I don't prefer that. Um, I have done it um, just because the 25 millimeter is the biggest I can find um, which roughly coincides to about half an inch um, or is it an inch? No, I think it's an inch um, diameter um, so I wanted something a little bit bigger so I have used a dowel um, but in this demonstration I'm going to show you um, the 25 millimeter these are all Susan Bates uh, needles so the first thing you want to do is um, depending on your pattern you want to um, chain or single crochet. I like, I'm going to show you single crochet um, just because it's easier to work with while on camera. Um, it's not very easy to crochet in front of a camera so um, this is easier. So I've done 20 um, single crochet just for the base and so I've gone across and I've come back and now I'm at the end there's my last single crochet. First thing you want to do when you go to start your broomstick lace stitches is you're going to pull up this first loop. You're going to keep it nice, nice and even. You're not going to twist it or, you know, um, twist it around here. You're going to just pull it straight up. And what I like to do is I like to loop it right there on my finger just to keep it straight. See how there's nice and straight there? And then you're going to turn your work. So I like to start to turn my work. You're going to insert your needle coming from this way, coming from the back of it, tighten it up, and then complete your turn. So now that loop is still on there nice and um, it's not twisted at all. So you're going to tighten this up. Now that first loop counts as your first stitch. So your first single crochet and that first loop are the same. So when you go to pull up your next loop, you're going to go into the second single crochet. Okay, so you're going to grab your hook. Now when I'm doing this, I usually, um, I'm sitting on the couch, so I'll prop the needle in between my legs so it doesn't wobble around um, and it helps me go faster. So on camera, unfortunately, I don't have anything to prop it, so it might be a little wobbly. Um, so the first, there's your first stitch for your second stitch, your second loop. You're going to go in just like normal. Yarn over just like normal. And when you pull up your first loop, what I like to do is make it, make it loose. Slip my finger in there, into the loop, and open it up and pull it around and place it right on your broomstick lace, or on your uh, broomstick. So again, they're not twisted. The, this, the movable part of the yarn, this is the movable part, will be in front. I'm going to do it again, show you one more time. Insert your hook into your next stitch, yarn over. When you pull up a loop, I'm going to put my finger in that loop to open it up and slide it right on there. So see how it's not twisted. And then you're going to tighten it up. You want to always make sure they're nice and tight. If one loop is looser than the other, then it'll show. Um, that loop will stick out in your stitches um, when you go to do the broomstick lace stitch. So you want to make sure they're all tight and they're all even um, around your broomstick. 
So I'm going to continue across here. As you get more loops, you can push them down. You want to stay somewhat close so then you don't have um, too much to pull tight when you make your make your loop. Um, it gives it a little bit faster if you're a little closer, but the rest of these can start going down your, your um, broomstick. Again, it's not this difficult. I'm just making it look harder than what it is because I'm doing it on camera and my needle, my broomstick is kind of flopping all over. When you're sitting down on a couch or in a chair or whatever, wherever you like to crochet, you can anchor your the bottom of your um, needle so it doesn't flop around and you can actually go pretty fast once you get the hang of it. more left. The last one. Okay, so now I've gotten all my loops on my broomstick. I'm going to count them just to make sure I have all 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. So now I'm going to straighten them all out. You don't want them twisted around or anything. You want to make sure they're all pointing at the bottom or your work is pointing at the bottom, your work will continue to grow down that way. Um, so now I've finished that last loop and I'm going to turn it. My yarn is still in the back. I'm going to push them up close, close to the edge, but not quite. Okay, so depending on what your pattern calls for, um, it'll tell you how many loops to make to take off your broomstick for your um, to make your broomstick lace stitch. Um, in this video I'm going to show you with four. One, two, three, four. So I pull four um, close to the edge there. Okay, grab your hook. So now I'm going to pull, push the four on the tip and that leaves a little bit of room in there for me to stick my hook in. I'm going to pull this down a little bit so I have room all the way across. Stick my hook in all four of those, pull them off. Oh, I lost that one. There we go. Now, first thing you want to do is hold on to your work at the bottom and tug on these a little bit just to make sure they're all evenly um, um, straight. There is, because there is no stitch anchoring them at all. They are movable. See, I'll pull on one of them and it just made this one shorter. You don't want to work like that. You want to 
pull them all so they're nice and even. This very first stitch will be your beginning broomstick lace. I call it beginning broomstick only because of there's your your um, working yarn. You're going to make sure your working yarn is the same height as all the rest. So that's why you want to put tension on here and pull it through and don't tighten it right now because if you tighten it you're going to smush all the loops right there. So you pulled through your working yarn then I'm going to kind of open them up just a little bit so I can see. I'm going to chain one like normal. Um, anytime you're working with a single crochet, you always chain one the first time. Then I'm going to kind of scoot this over a little bit and start working my single crochet. So because I took four loops off my hook, I'm going to put four single crochets in those loops. So there's one, two, three, four. So now there's my first broomstick lace stitch. Um, because they're centered over the top, when you first put your hook in, it's going to be in the center. Well, if you notice, the center um, is in between the two. So that's why in the beginning when I put my first um, single crochet or in this, the very first one I did my um, chain one, I scooted them over a little bit so they'll be centered over the top. Um, so there's my very first broomstick. That's the beginning broomstick lace stitch. Now for the, all the rest of them, you don't have to chain one. You don't have to do anything else except your four single crochet. So I'm going to pull one, two, three, four loops off. Pull down in there so I can get my hook in there. Make sure you get them in. All four. Pull them off. And if there, if any of the loops are um, on top of each other. You want to straighten them out so they're all even. One, two, three, four. And I'm holding on to my hook and my stitches so I don't lose my stitches um, while I'm working them. So yarn over, pull through all four loops, and then yarn over, complete your first single crochet. There's the first one, but it's right in the center, but we want to move it over just a little bit there. And then I use my thumb and my middle finger to kind of make sure this hole stays open so you don't end up going through there and skipping one. You want to go through the entire center so you have all four loops. Um, there's four on this side and four on that side because you're going through the center. So do the rest of your single crochets. That was two. That's three. And there's my fourth one. So now I have two broomstick lace stitches. And then you see how it, it makes kind of a crossover with a hole in the top. Now if these loops were twisted, it, this part of the, the look of the stitch would not, it would be, it would be twisted because remember the front of your stitches was actually back here, was the movable part and this was the non-movable, it would be this part down here would look messy if the, if the stitches are twisted. That's why I like to keep my stitches on my hooks here. I can go ahead and take all these stitches off and still work them, but then I have to make sure each stitch, each loop is facing the same way. And that's, to me, that's more difficult than just holding on to a holding on to a um, needle while working. So you see how, <clears throat> excuse me, you see how my loop ended up going over? I'm gonna straighten that out a little bit. Again, it's hard to do this on video. There you go. So now you got all four. Go through. One, oops, see, I went through and I skipped that last one. There we go. One, two, three, four. So now I have three. 
I'm going to continue across now and then I'll show you um, when you turn again how to restart. Okay, so I finished my five groups of four. So for the next rows, you're going to do the same thing on here like you did at the beginning. Pull up your loop. I like to slip it on my finger. This time I'm going to show you with a smaller um, broomstick, smaller needle, just so you can see the differences. I grabbed the 19, US 19 15 millimeter. So I have my loop and it's nice and straight. Turn your um, hand, slip it in from the back, tighten up your loop, and then fin finish your turn. So there's your first loop, your first stitch, first loop. So now we're going to pull up loops just like we were doing at the beginning round. And at this point, now that we have our segmented four, I like to count four, so I make sure I have, I grab all my stitches for each four. So there's three, and there's my fourth for that first broomstick lace stitch. Four. Go in the next stitch. One. Two, three, four, I continue. So there's my last loop. Now I have 20 stitches, 20 loops back on my hook. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There we are. So this is using the 15 millimeter. Make sure all your stitches are down, all your broomstick lace stitches are down. Go ahead and turn your hook, yarn is still in back. We're going to repeat the same process we did with this and that's all there is to broomstick lace. So I'm going to take the first four, bring them to the front, Oop, sorry. pull my hook through all four of them, and then there's your four, you're going to yarn over making sure your working yarn is the same length as your loops. Chain one. Oop. There you go. Chain one. Open that up. One. Two. Three. So you can see how the difference between see the difference between the 25 millimeter, which is the first one, 
and the 19 millimeter makes such a smaller hole and it'll also bring tighten it in here too and to just do a couple more of these just to show you back in there One, two, three, four. Come on. One, two, three, four. There's my four on my hook. One, two, three. Four. So there's two of them I made. One, two, three, four. Okay. There's three. So look at the difference between 25 milli millimeter and 19 millimeter. Okay, and that is broomstick lace stitch. Beautiful. All right. Thanks so much for watching, you guys.